Continuing coverage tonight of a Spokane police officer on trial. The defense team is building its case in day two of arguments in the federal trial against Spokane officer Carl Thompson. Good evening, I'm Nadine Woodward. And I'm Mike Gonzalez. Thompson is accused of using excessive force and lying to investigators over a confrontation that led to the death of Otto Zem in 2006. KXY Force Kylie Cruz watched as the defense called several key witnesses to the stand today. Kylie? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Mike and Nadine, they called four witnesses to the stand to the day to help make their case that Officer Carl Thompson did not hit Otto Zim in the head with a baton. Now, that's a critical detail in the case against Officer Thompson. Now, first up today was defense expert Dan Davis. Now, who, he has said that he's reviewed 15 to 20,000 death investigations during his career, and he was the first to testify. He testified injuries to Otto Zim's head and neck were not from a baton, and he said they were from something bland and flat like the floor or possibly the store shelves in the zip trip. Next up, the defense called an eyewitness that saw Zem struggling with Officer Thompson. Pat Connolly testified he did not see Thompson strike Zem in the head with a baton. He said he saw Zem struggle, spit and growl at officers. During cross-examination, though, Connolly said he didn't ever see Zem punch or kick Officer Thompson. Also called up to the stand today, Officer Steve Braun, who was the second officer on the scene that night, and joined Wayne Thompson struggle with Zem. He testified that he told Zem several times to stop fighting and stop resisting, but said Zem never stopped. This prompted him to call for additional help because he said he was mentally and physically exhausted from trying to get Zim under control. Now, Braun also said he didn't strike Zem to the head that night because he didn't see any cause to use lethal force with him. Now, the defense said today, just a few moments ago when they wrapped up their case for today, that they are expected to finish up their case Thursday morning. Now, that is earlier than expected. Of course, we'll continue to bring you live updates on Twitter and on our website at KXLY.com. Reporting live here in front of the federal courthouse, I'm Kylie Cruz, KXLY4 HD News.